Good morning, students. I'm S. B. Patel, working as assistant professor in the Department of Physics at Government Pasteur College, Rangi Benar. Today, let us discuss about cardinal points. To know more about these cardinal points, it would be more useful to recollect these laws of reflections, laws of refractions, deviation of light produced by the thin lens. Cartesian sign conventions, some formulae like uh, Gauss equations, lens maker, equa lens maker equations, and few terminologies like focal length, image distance, object distance, image height, object height, magnifications, etc. Yes, what are these cardinal points? In the year 1841, Gauss came across his own method. to find the image distance and image height of a complex optical system consisting of more than two lenses what are these cardinal points these cardinal points are the hypothetical points on the principal axis of an optical system these are also called as gauss points there are six cardinal points which characterize an optical system they are two principal points two focal points two nodal points defining these principal points and principal planes now let us look at this diagram the first diagram in this diagram if oa light is incident light ray is incident parallel to the principal axis on this lens l1 at this point a it gets refracted and takes the path ab and at this point it gets refracted again and takes the path bf2 now if i extend this oa in forward direction and bf2 in the reverse direction both these two meet at the point h2 and this line joining the point h2 p2 perpendicular to the principal axis is called as second principal plane and the point on the principal axis is called as second principal point now what are the special features of this these principal points are a pair of conjugate points with a unit linear magnification and the light rays between these h1 and h2 in this diagram all the light rays between these two points are absolutely parallel to the principal axis and one more special thing to be noted here is any complex system optical system has only two principal points and uh, similarly uh, this second diagram in this second diagram the line joining these two points h2 sorry h1 and p1 is called as first principal plane and the point on the principal axis is called as first principal point focal points and focal planes f1 and f2 are the focal points f1 is a first focal point where if the light ray is incident from this point f1 and if it is incident on the lens l1 at a point s it gets refracted and takes the path sq and after refracting from the second lens it will definitely be parallel to the principal axis and takes the path qw this is f1 similarly when a light ray is incident on uh, the lens oa parallel to the principal axis it takes the path ab here that is not mentioned in the previous slide we have mentioned it it takes the path ab and uh, it gets reflected at the point b and takes the path bf2 yes and this point is called as second focal point and uh, the planes passing through these f1 and f2 are also called as uh, focal planes first focal plane and this this one is this one will be called as second focal plane and uh, on the if the medium is same on uh, both the sides of an optical system then f1 will be equal to f2 and uh, one more thing to be noted here is f1 p1 f1 p1 and f2 p2 f1 p1 is a first focal length and similarly f2 p2 is a second focal length then 
defining these uh, nodal points uh, these nodal points are the points on the principal axis of an optical system where the light rays without refraction without refraction intersect the optic axis and in case of thin lens the center of the thin lens itself is a nodal point and here in this diagram n1 and n2 n1 and n2 are the pair of conjugate points on the axis which have unit angular magnification and uh, on both the sides if both the sides of the optical system is same that is if the medium is same then n1 and n2 will definitely coincide with the p1 and p2 principal points now deriving the expression for the equivalent focal lengths of two thin lenses as mentioned in the first slide if we recollect gauss formula it is 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f now when a light ray is incident on the first surface here for the first surface we are mentioning that's why we are writing it in terms of subscript one one represents the first surface two represents second surface 1 by v1 minus 1 by u1 is equal to 1 by f1 therefore this will be equal to 1 by og since v1 is og here and u1 is infinity because the light is incident parallel to the principal axis this will be u1 will be equal to infinity this will be equal to 1 by f similarly refraction at the second surface is given by 1 by v2 minus 1 by u2 is equal to 1 by f2 on simplification it will be coined like this 1 by q f2 is equal to f2 plus f1 minus d all divided by f2 into f1 minus d now from this diagram b o g and d q g are similar triangles hence their sides can be compared therefore b o by o g is equal to d g by o uh, q g and this is written negative because this is major in the opposite direction of the incidence of light therefore it is taken negative here similarly h2 p2 f2 and d q f2 are similar therefore h2 p2 divided by p2 f2 is equal to d q by q f2 therefore on simplifying this it will be h1 by f is equal to h2 by q f2 and from equation 2 3 and 4 we get h1 by h2 is equal to f1 by minus f1 minus d this will be equal to f into f1 plus f2 minus d divided by whole divided by f2 into f1 minus d on simplifying we get this equation 1 by f which is nothing but equivalent focal length of two thin lenses separated by a distance d or else in other way it is also written like this 1 by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 minus d by f1 f2 and expression for power of the thin lens is quite simple since p is equal to 1 by f therefore uh, uh, the same equation is rewritten in terms of power here p is equal to p1 plus p2 minus d into p1 p2 where d is the distance between the lenses and uh, this is what uh, about uh, we have studied in this uh, session uh, the recap of this is optical system cardinal points principal points focal points nodal points expression for equivalent focal length and expression for power of the lenses and uh, these are the references what i have referred in this content and uh, thank you for watching